Your lesson essential question is how can we solve one and two step word problems? So today we're going to be solving word problems. And some of these word problems might have two steps. So you're used to just doing one addition or subtraction equation and being done. Well now, some of them might be looking for two different things or you might have to do two different things to get to the final answer. So there's a few things that we want to look at when we're solving word problems. And you probably have noticed that I ask you these things every time we solve a word problem. The first thing we want to do is we want to underline what the problem is asking us to find. The next thing we want to do is circle the information that's going to help us solve the problem. Then we need to figure out if we need to add or subtract or do both. Then we'll choose a strategy to solve the problem. Speaking of addition and subtraction, when we're looking at word problems, there's specific words that we can look for that help tell us if we need to add or subtract. We might see for addition words like in all, add, all together, total, plus, join, both, some, more, combined. And then for subtraction, we might see words like difference, remain, fewer, how many more, take away, are left, less, or minus. So it's important that we're really paying attention to those words. Here's a word problem for you. Matt sold 17 tickets. Jen sold eight fewer tickets than Matt. Amy sold three more tickets than Jen. How many tickets did each person sell? I want you to take a look at that problem and tell somebody in the room what we're trying to find. All right, we are trying to find how many tickets each person sold. Now tell that person what information is going to help us solve this problem. Knowing that Matt sold 17 tickets is important. It's also important to know that Jen sold eight fewer tickets than Matt and that Amy sold three more tickets than Jen. I can tell by looking at this that this is a two-step problem. I know this because I first need to figure out how many tickets Jen sold and then I need to figure out how many tickets Amy sold. I can't figure out how many tickets Amy sold until I know how many Jen sold. I'm going to use these models to help me with this problem. So, I know that Matt sold 17. Jen sold 8 fewer than Matt. I see the word fewer here, and I also see the word fewer up here under the subtraction column. The word fewer means less than, so the word fewer tells me that I need to subtract. So if she sold eight fewer than Matt, my problem is going to be 17 minus 8. 8 less than Matt. When I'm solving a subtraction problem, I know that this first number that I'm starting with is the greatest number that's going to be in my equation. When I look at a model like this, the greatest number always goes on top. So, if I'm subtracting, that first number is always going to go on top. If I'm adding, my sum is going to go on top. 
we're taking away 8. We don't know this missing number yet. Seventeen minus eight. I know that if I take seven away from seventeen, I get ten. I need to take one more away to take away eight. So seventeen minus seven is ten minus one more equals nine. So how many tickets did Jen sell? She sold nine. Okay, now to Amy. Amy sold three more tickets than Jen. I see the word more here, and as I look up here, I also see the word more under addition. So this tells me that I need to add. So Amy sold three more tickets than Jen. So I know that she sold three more than nine because Jen sold nine. So my problem is nine plus three. Remember in a model like this, the answer to an addition problem, the greatest number is gonna go on the top. So we don't know what goes up here, but we do know that our add-ins can go down here. I know that 9 plus 1 equals 10. Then I have two more to add. 10 plus 2 equals 12. So 9 plus 3 is 12. Amy sold 12 tickets. So, my question was, how many tickets did each person sell? Well, we know that Matt sold 17, right? We know that now know that Jen sold 9. And Amy sold 12. It's really, really important that when we're solving addition, addition and subtraction word problems that we're really really paying attention to these steps we need to make sure that we're always looking for what the problem's asking us to find we're really making sure that we're looking for the information that will help us solve it we really need to make sure that we're paying attention to those addition and subtraction words and also is the problem one step or two steps if we just start looking at numbers and adding them and subtracting them without actually reading the problem, we're probably not going to get the answers right. So we definitely have to make sure we're taking our time and we're solving the problems correctly. You're going to be practicing this today in your workbook.